Hey guys, so today we're going to do another 5-minute data analysis project. We are going to investigate the Titanic data set. Uh, if you're like me and you've never watched the movie, this is pretty interesting. You get to understand the context of what the hype's about and learn a bit about the uh, incident and understand why it's relevant, why it's important. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop on Kaggle and investigate the data. We're going to go ahead and use the Titanic data set uh, that's already in Kaggle. we got to click the Add Data button and then type in Titanic. It's the second one. Once it loads, you can use the train CSV file to load the data in. So uh, we are going to import pandas and read the CSV in. I'm just going to use the code I already have. Great. Now, once that's done, we're going to look at the data and try and understand it better, just like we do with every single project. Cool. So the fields that we care about here is uh, survived, passenger class, their names, their age and sex, and also their uh, embarked port. So which port they embarked from. Great. Now that we know that, let's look at how many passengers we had on this data set. To do that, we're just going to look at the number of rows because the rows here signify the number of passengers. Uh, it says here that we have 891 rows, which uh, I did a Google search before this project and I looked up how many passengers were on the actual Titanic ship. It was closer to 2,200, so we know that the data quality for this specific data set isn't too good, but we're just gonna ignore that for now and investigate this as if this was the actual data set. Great, so the next step is to look at the data and see if there are any missing values. We wanna clean the data set before we do any analysis, so let's get that out of the way right here. We see that age, cabin, and embarked have a lot of missing values, so we're gonna wanna clean that up. To do that, we're just gonna do some average imputation for age, and then we're gonna do mode imputation for uh, cabin and embarked, because those are categorical variables. For this, we're gonna use a scikit-learn import. We're gonna use simple imputer. Uh, we're just gonna make our life easier by just using a preset imputer, and then use average imputation to fix the null values for age. And then we can do the same thing for cabin and embarked, but change the strategy to most frequent or mode, so that we can get the most frequent categorical variable that was used to replace the null values. Great, once we've done that, we see that there's no more null values in the data set. Next, we wanna explore the data set and try to understand it a little better. We wanna look at the distribution between classes, first class, second class, and third class, so that we can better understand in the future the survival rates of each class, and uh, maybe first class at a higher survival rate, maybe third class is the worst, we're gonna do the same thing for embarked port. So we understand if the port had any correlation to their survival rate. Here we see that first class had more passengers than second class and third class had the uh, highest number of passengers, which is expected. Next, we wanna look at embarked ports and see which ports had the most uh, number of people embarking on. We see that uh, port S had the most, where port C had the second most, and port Q had the least. Great, now that we have this, we can go ahead and see how many people survive from this specific data set and count the survival rate of the passengers in this data set. So here we see that 342 people survive out of the 891 passengers. Uh, that, to me, seems like just above 30%, but let's uh, just be sure. Yep, the survival rate is 38.38%. So now that we know this, we know the baseline data and understand it a little better, we wanna go in and understand the survival rate even deeper. We wanna see maybe uh, what ages were the survivors or what sex were the survivors and what classes were they first class survivors or second class or third class. Maybe the port had something to do with their survival rate. So uh, this is what we call exploratory data analysis and we're gonna use data visualization to try and understand this better. First, we're gonna see a uh, survival rate with gender. We wanna see if males or females survive more. Here we see that females had a higher survival rate and this uh, could mean that they were smarter or they were more effective in getting out or surviving or we just had a lot of gentlemen on board. Uh, we can't really tell, but uh, this shows us a general uh, overview of the survival rate per gender. Next, we can look at the survival rate per uh, passenger class. Uh, we wanna see if first class tickets have a higher survival rate and yeah, here we confirm that uh, each class had a higher survival rate. So the first class had a higher survival rate altogether. The second class had a higher survival rate than the third class and lower than the first. And the third class had the lowest survival rate. So this kind of tells us if you spend more money on a ticket, you probably will have a higher chance of surviving. Great. The next thing we want to look at is survival rate by embarked port. We want to see if there's a pattern or trend in terms of uh, survival rate per port entry. Maybe if they entered through a different port, they would have had a higher likelihood of surviving. So let's plot this chart to visualize our theory. Interesting. Here we see that port C has had the highest survival rate and port Q had the second highest, port S had the lowest. Uh, let's go back to our analysis up here and see, okay, so port C had 168 passengers uh, embark, 
Port S had 646 and Port Q had 77. This is interesting. Port S had the highest number of passengers embarked from, but it had the lowest survival rate. So this could be something we could look into deeper. We could also find a way to correlate this with a passenger class, maybe different class passengers embarked from different ports, and there might be a correlation there. But for that, we have to look in deeper. But just with this project, we were able to do some data cleaning, data aggregation, and data visualization. You were also able to ask interesting questions and think deeply to understand why the survival rate was uh, such a way and how to look into the survival rate in a more meaningful or more in-depth manner by comparing survival rate with gender, passenger class, and embarked port. So yeah, that's all we have for today. If you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a comment down below so I can keep making content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.